What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Anthony K and today I'm bringing you a really quick tutorial on how to connect your PS4 controller both wired and wirelessly to the PCSX2 PlayStation 2 emulator. This video will be broken down into two parts. First part is going to show the wired version and the second part is going to show the wireless version version so i will put timestamps in the comments and most likely on the video to the point in the video where you can skip to your desired uh, method so let's get going first we're going to do the wired method this is pretty much the simplest method i think um, all you're going to need is your ps4 controller obviously and a cord that um, has the capabilities of connecting it to your pc uh, usually they're like usb cables um, it should have come with the controller that you did purchase. And so I'm just going to go ahead and plug in my controller. It's always a nice little system sound there. lets you know everything is correct. And you're going to go up and boot up PCSX2. Uh, now, I should note that this tutorial is not how to set up PCSX2 uh, or download games onto PCSX2. It is simply how to set up your PS4 controller on the system. So what we're going to go and do is hit the config tab up there. Go to controllers and plug in settings. And what you're going to want to make sure is unchecked is this XI input Xbox 360 controllers only selection. Uncheck that and you're good to go. Now to set up the controller itself, you're going to go into this pad one tab and you're going to see there's a lot of different options. Um, uh, e basically each little button corresponds to something on your controller. And so all you're going to do is click on the button you want to bind to your controller. So I'm going to click on square and then on your controller, hit that button. So sorry, I had to do a cut cause it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't working. I just had to replug in my controller. Um, okay. Triangle circle. Oh, that's cross. Excuse me. <laughs> circle. Select is your share button. Start is your options button. Analog is the middle button presser, uh, if that makes sense. L1, uh, L1, L2, L2, L3 is the left analog stick. You click it down if you didn't know. D pad up, left, right, down, R1, R1, R2, R2, R3, right analog stick, click. And then your left analog stick, use your sticks to go up, left, right, down, and then right, up, left, right, down. And that's pretty much it. Um, just hit the apply button. And sometimes I like to put the lock input, lock direction, lock buttons, and hit OK. Um, now you're pretty much good to go. I'm going to go ahead and boot up into a quick, um, San Andreas and I'm going to just jump cut to the actual point in time where I can use the controller so you don't have to sit through all that waiting and we'll get to the wireless, uh, section next. Man, welcome back. We're in the game and this is footage, um, of the wired version of the PS4 controller. So... I'm using my right analog stick. My left analog stick is going to move me around. Um, yeah, uh, we can sprint in the house. Well, actually, yes, you can. You can sprint holding down X. <laughs> um, I don't exactly... Okay, L1 checks your stats. I haven't played this game in years. Uh, looks like we can do a bit of... Uh, hit the pause button. Select, this is D-pad, and everything like that. So, uh, looks like everything's all working. Uh, and now we're going to move on to the wireless version. All right, welcome to the wireless segment of the tutorial. This is for those of you who don't want to worry about any sort of cords, who might want to sit back and relax on their bed while uh, projecting the game to their new 4K TV. Um, so this method requires some outside software. I tried and tried um, to find a way that you didn't need any sort of software to connect your PS4 controller wirelessly. However, um, you just need software. So I'm going to show you how to download that. 
Um, so the software you're going to need is called um, DS4 Windows. And it's this one right here. I'll put the link in the description. <laughs> um, so yes, just simply download this. Um, it's super simple um, to set up. All you have to do is download it. There's nothing else. There's a how to use page. Um, there's plenty of F F F uh, facts and questions. I think that's what FAQ means. I have no idea. Um, that goes into this. So yeah, just download this. And then what you're wanting going to want to do is when you're done with that, uh, open up the program on your own system. You don't need to create any sort of profiles. You don't need any of the auto profiles. You don't need to change any of the settings. You just go to the controllers tab and um, what you're going to do to allow the connection from your PS4 controller to your Windows 10 PC is that you're going to uh, hit the Windows button uh, then type in uh, Bluetooth and you're going to go into the Bluetooth and other devices settings and what you're going to do is on your PS4 controller you're going to hold down the share button and the PS button at the same time for a few seconds until the light bar starts flashing a light blue okay and I'm going to put footage of this in the video just so you know what it looks like as well and then once that's doing it, you're going to hit the Add Bluetooth or Other Device uh, plus bar, click Bluetooth, and you'll see a wireless controller input. And it's going to go ahead and connect it. It'll take a few seconds. It takes me from anywhere between 5 seconds and 30 seconds. Um, but there you go. It seems to work. And you'll see on the DS4 Windows, you're going to go ahead and close this, on the DS4 Windows um, application, you'll see that you are connected this is your battery yada yada you can change the color if you want of it it's pretty cool but you can go ahead and minimize that for now and then you're just simply going to go uh, relaunch your PCSX2 application and do the exact same thing for the wired um, tutorial that was in the beginning of the video and I'll just show that again just in case you skipped it here Make sure that this button, this box is unchecked. Go to your pad one settings, and then you're just going to click the corresponding uh, button on the controller with the corresponding button in the application. So I click square, I hit square. I click triangle, I click triangle. Cross is the X button. Circle, circle. Select is the share button. Start is the options button. Analog is the big button in the middle. It's a little hard to say. Actually, I don't think analog buttons are going to work with DS4 Windows because if I remember correctly, your analog button, when you're collect connected to DS4 Windows, acts as your mouse. Uh, but it's not too big of a deal. L1 is L1, L2, L2. L3 is the left analog stick. Click up, left, right, down. It's not rocket science. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, actually. Uh, make sure you get the left analog stick right. Um, for some reason it's a lot harder to, you know, think about a direction uh, for the analog stick. I don't know why. Uh, that might just be me. Be me. All right. And when you're done with all those buttons, hit apply, lock input, lock direction, lock buttons. I don't know what those mean. I just do it <laughs> and hit OK. And that should be good to go. And again, I'm going to do, I'm going to launch the game and I will see you in the demo portion of the wireless controller tutorial. And I am back into the game. Now this is the wireless controller test portion, just to show you that it's legit. I've actually uh, gotten some footage of me uh, having the controller as wireless in wireless mode, as you can see here. As you can see I'm running the game and I'm gonna hit the left here we go around uh, right it's gonna pan the photo uh, and it does I mean pretty much everything you'd expect um, it's really hard to hold a <laughs> hold a phone at the same time but uh, if you wanted to look at your stats L1 uh, it works and if it doesn't work leave me a comment um, Hopefully that's um, 
what I've shown you here today is going to help you with your problem. Um, please let me know in the comments if you have any issues. I will try to answer them. I am a busy guy. But thank you for uh, watching. Uh, leave a like if you uh, found this helpful. A dislike if you didn't. And uh, maybe subscribe. Who knows? Thank you. Have a good one.